Hello Team Cancer and welcome back to my channel. This is um, Empire333. This is for Cancer Love Tarot, okay? We're doing past lives with the cycle, so we will be getting into your negative patterns you keep repeating in past lives when it has to do with love, okay? Partnership, you know, any kind of romantic love, okay? So, and then we'll get spiritual advice about what to do to break those negative patterns so you can manifest the love that you want, okay? So, Cancer, let's see what Spirit wants to say to you. Let's start. Um, hold on. Let me ask first. Okay. Oh, off the bat, Cancer, you know what I was getting when I was meditating on your energy? That... With your romantic connections, okay, it's like you will feel a lack of attention. Your person won't give you the attention that you desire, okay? So um, this has a lot to do with what you prioritize getting in your partnerships, okay? So that's something that you need to look into, that you need to observe, okay? Because... Um, it could, I, I'll give you an example. So like, let's see, let's say someone is not giving you the attention you want. You might go out of your way to get that attention and be hurt because that person is still not giving you attention. Okay. So, and it, it's not that you're not getting any attention from anyone. It's like you want it from a specific person and that person is the one that is not giving you that attention. Okay. So that's really hurtful for you. Um, you keep doing this in a lot of life, lifetimes with this person, okay? So let's see, Cancer. What do you want to tell Cancer Spirit? Okay. Yeah. <coughs> wow. Okay. So, Cancer, what I'm seeing here is that a lot of disappointments you've gone through in your lifetime, okay? The Five of Cups here, okay? A lot of losses, a lot of disappointments you've gone through, okay? There is a King of Fire here. So, um... What I'm getting here is that a lot of you, it's like you turned that that pain that you felt, those disappointments into something great. Like you might be inspiring people. You might be like speaking, um, maybe writing on blogs, whatever it is. It's like you took that those disappointments and you made it something good, okay? Um, so it's like, that's a good thing. However, okay, I feel that a lot of you ha are, you have issues with, um, this is what I want to say. This is the type of energy that I'm getting, okay? Um, some of you rush things when you meet people. Like, you don't really get to know them. Okay, and what ends up happening is that you're disappointed, okay? So uh, what I'm getting here from spirit is like you could be making certain people up in your mind, okay? So it's like you might be with someone because you see their potential of something, but yet they're not like that, okay? So you might put them into some archetype, like to whoever you're interested in romantically. It could be a crush. It could be some people you date. Like, I feel like from the beginning, you put this person on a pedestal, okay? That's the problem. Because when you do that, then you end up in the Five of Cups energy, okay? So you could be looking at someone in the beginning and think, oh, this person's amazing, okay? Let me just give to this person. They're this, they're that, whatever. But um, 
you could be disappointed because they're not really what you thought they were. It's so, so I feel like a lot of you um, <clears throat> put someone up there on a pedestal, okay? Or you like think about them in a certain way, um, but they're not really that person, okay? So I also feel that in your connections, it will take a long time for you to have clarity with people. So like, let's say it could be this person maybe um, lied to you or <clears throat> I feel like a lot of lying, okay? Because I do see you, Cancer. Um, like not stalking, I don't want to say stalking, but you're always trying to get information out of someone, like it could be partners that you feel are not transparent to you, okay? You just want to like just dive in and get to know them on a very deep level, which there's nothing wrong with, but I feel like some of you have... Um, Yeah. Okay. This is what spirit is saying. So, um, cancer, what I'm getting is like, you keep setting yourself up. Okay. So what's happening here? Remember the attention thing I was talking about in the beginning. So what tends to happen is like you get attention from someone from the beginning and you dive in, you dive into the connection, you give them your all and you think they're amazing. You put them on a pedestal and yet you have not really researched about like research or like I don't know what else looked into who this person really is like who are they so I feel like for some of you, you just want to rush it and you don't really get to know them really on the deep levels okay so what I'm getting is like they're putting my eye me on this this wolf okay they well, they want me to look at this wolf so it could be like what is that story Oh, okay, wolf in sheep's clothing. That's what they're trying to say. Thank you, spirit. Wolf in sheep's clothing, okay? So that's what's happening. So you, what you've been doing, the negative pattern is you rush into connections, you put them on a pedestal, cancer. We'll get into your person in a second. And yet, like, you don't really get to know them. And because you put them in the high pedestal and they know whoever this person is knows they're not on the high pedestal, it's like then their secrets keep coming out one by one. You feel like you have to. Like you have to be like, where is this person? What are they up to? Like it makes you kind of want to be like, you know, stalkerish okay <laughs> let me just put it that way but this person ends up like the wolf in sheep's clothing and you're like then you you're so disappointed like where did this come from why did this person turn on me they didn't turn on you because you need to understand that in the beginning of a connection when you start out when you're dating when you're getting to know people which you're not really doing okay that's one of your I'm just going to call it out, guys, okay? Um, I don't want anybody to be triggered. I just I'm, I just call out truth. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. Um, yeah, when you're, you know, in the earlier phases of your connection, it's like everybody gives you attention. Who doesn't? Like, who's been on a date and not gotten attention? I don't know. Like, in the beginning, what do you call it? The honeymoon phase or whatever? It's like everybody's great, you know? Okay? So let's see. Let's see about the person. Let me get this out of the way. Whoa, okay. Let's see about this person. Okay. Whoa.
Okay, what I'm getting about this, okay, sorry, the two of cups. This is, it's not like this, these, the feelings between you and this person are not reciprocated. It's just that this person, yeah, I'm getting soulmate energy, that's for sure. Soulmate of yours, okay, so Cancer. You get someone that they want to be seen. They want attention to. So it's like for you and this person, it's really hard to um, find a balance of who does what. Okay. And this was somebody who it's like they have repressed emotions. They have a lot of emotional issues is what I just heard. Okay. And... Let's see what else. Ooh, this is not good. This is not good. Okay. For you divine feminines out there, this person you might have found out doesn't know how to treat a woman. Okay. They don't know how to treat a woman. Um, this is not cool at all. So this is someone... Who keeps taking, 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 and they don't honor or nurture you the way you want, yet you still hang on, Cancer, because you think to yourself, one day, they're going to treat me like an empress, but it doesn't come. It doesn't come. Actually, they're the ones who, it's like... Whatever they do, they might blame you for it. That's what I'm getting. It's like a defense mechanism they use. So if they walk away from you, they'll be like, well, you made me walk away. It's like, that's what I'm hearing from this. I walked away because you made me. Okay. Anything else you want to tell us about this person? Oh, I just heard they are toxic. Okay. All right, spirit. They are toxic. So some of you might have been with a toxic person. Okay. You know what I just heard? Um, emotionally abusive. Okay. So some of you might have dealt with somebody who was emotionally abusive. Um... And both of you did not see eye to eye, okay? You had so much issues with communication, okay? Communication, making decisions together as a couple. Okay. Anything else, Spirit? You want to tell us about this person cancer has been with for this many lifetimes? Okay. Yeah, it's really been hard and difficult to work with this person, to grow with this person. This person has learned a lot from you, cancer, but I don't feel like they apply it to their life. It's like this could be someone who, it's like they learn so much from you. Okay, about life, about work, about career. Like, you could have been that person who motivated them, inspired them to be better, or whatever it is, right? Yet, this person just wants to be free, okay? And you don't know why they want to be free. They want to be free. They want to... Um, not be tied down. Some of them look at a connection like I'm being tied down. I want to be free. I don't want this on my mind. This is too much pressure. I just walk away. I don't pay attention to my feelings. Maybe they ghosted you. Okay. So let's see what the advice is for this type of negative patterns. Okay. What was I just going to do? Oh, okay. Let's see. Divine life purpose. 
this, this right here. Value your self-worth. You are God's precious gem. So this person here made you feel less than, okay? They made you feel um, like you don't deserve to be in a partnership. Maybe you were questioning yourself, Cancer, like, what's wrong with me? I thought I would be a great lover. I thought I'd be a great wife. I thought I'd be a great husband. I feel like this person made you question everything. They made you feel small, okay? And here spirit is, is like, you're a freaking diamond, Cancer, okay? So what I feel like you did, Cancer, is through the disappointments you went through, you started working on your life purpose already, okay? And what spirit is saying here is like, keep working on that. The more you do that, the more you <clears throat> motivate people, inspire people, you will be... Whatever, whichever way you help people, okay? It doesn't have to be like your motivational speaker, okay, Cancer? But the more you help people that way, in whichever way you cause motivation, inspiration, and in people, okay? The more you will know your worth because people will be like, Cancer, you're amazing. You are magical. You are this. You are that. Like, great. You're getting so much great feedback. And it, and if you haven't started yet, do this, Cancer. If you're thinking of starting something that's motivational, inspiring, it could be a blog, it could be whatever, whatever it is, okay? So many things are coming up right now. It's like the more you're going to realize this person is, you know, should be free, right? Because you're going to realize this person tried to emotionally manipulate you and make you feel less than, so you would in turn not know that you deserve this, not know that you deserve something like this, okay? Because this could have been a soulmate connection where you and this person, it's like your souls are together, okay? Your souls want each other, but in the physical, no. This person decided to be solo, okay? They want to be solo, or they want to be without you. This could also have been somebody who was with someone else. I don't see love there. So this person doesn't operate through love. Okay? Sorry, I don't see them operating through love. Does that mean they don't love you? No. It could be they love you. But they don't operate in the real 3D world. They do not operate with love. This person could have been just, you know, fun for you. Maybe you guys had a lot of vacations together. Okay. Um, okay, so I'm going to see, Cancer, if you do these things that Spirit said, okay, and you stop looking for attention to, in people, stop, you know, asking for, not asking, but you know what I mean? Like, attention is not the most important thing. Okay, I'm going to see if that happens. No, not this one. Sorry. If that happens, then um, if you do all the things we're talking about and you break those negative patterns with the advice, then what's going to come to you? Okay, what are you going to have? All right, spirit, what is cancer going to have if they break all these negative patterns and take the advice that you are saying? You know what I just heard? Stop mimicking people. So I don't know if you're, you're, um, for some of you, you might be looking at people and like doing the same thing, but don't do the same thing is what spirit is saying. I don't know what that has to do with. Okay. So let's see. That's not going to be for all of you. Okay. So spirit, if cancer does all these things that we mentioned, Six of Wands, baby. See, you're going to get the recognition you deserve. You're going to get the attention you deserve regardless because you're going to be victorious, okay? I love this. 
you're going to be rewarded. Yes, you're going to be rewarded regardless, Cancer. So it's kind of like do what you enjoy, how you enjoy to motivate, inspire people. Do you know even right here on YouTube, you can put comments that is so, like they're so motivational, inspirational. I know some of people could put like gross comments, but some people put like the nicest comments, okay? I know that, that that even gets rewarded. You're going through, wow, okay, Scorpio. This is the release um, here in this deck, but this is a Scorpio card. Okay, spiritual transformation. All right, Emperor. Oof. Oh my God, like everybody's getting the 1111 card. Okay, so... As you do this, you will go through a major transformation. I just heard a shedding of old skin, okay? And what I'm getting here is that Oh, okay. You will get a partner. Okay? I know emperor doesn't really mean partner in the traditional, but I don't care. I'm just going to say what I'm hearing. So four of wands and emperor. It's like some of you have been wanting an emperor for the longest time. Gender doesn't matter. And it's like the more you consume yourself with your life purpose, cancer, which is a, for a lot of you motivational, inspirational, writing, speaking, art, um, you can motivate and inspire people in so many different ways, okay? But they want you to focus on that because that will bring you victory. That will bring you the recognition you deserve. And in turn, you're going to attract the, the, the emperor that you want, that you've always wanted. Someone who has a good head on their shoulders, someone who's responsible, like a serious person, not like someone who wants to just mess around with you. Like, they know how to handle things. Um, and you will find, like, the happy home life, the stableness with this person, okay? But you have to go through that transformation first. That's what I'm talking about, the old shedding of the skin. Um, that's what I keep hearing. And when you do that, And you get into your real element here, Queen of Cups, okay? The real you. Your relationships will develop to a new level, okay? The really, they won't be like, they'll be like, cancer. They'll be like high grade, okay? That's what I, that's what they want to say. It'll, it'll, Come up to a better level, okay? So, Cancer, I hope this helped you. Let me know in the comments how you resonate with this. Like this video if you did. Give me a like. And subscribe if you like my vibe and style of reading. I wish you all the best. Peace out, Cancer.